Hydro jump spots and lines of sight for ranked. Let's go. So if you're waiting for this hard point over here to start, P2, this is actually a great place to hold because you have a great head glitch towards mid and to the left side where people might be flanking you from. And you can hold the spawns. And not many people check this. Most people are going to check back here and on the rock. But if you're over here and you lie down, you can hide yourself and you can beam everyone who tries to come to the hard point from behind. Most people know that you can get on top of most of these rocks that are around the map. But this rock in particular is pretty hard to get onto. But there's a few ways you can do it. You can either jump from this window and then jump up like this. You can come from top rock in like this and jump on top of it. And if you're in front, you can just jump up like this. Without these methods, it is impossible to climb on this rock. So it's good to know them. And it's a very good way to attack the hard point. If the hard point's over here, then most people are not expecting your head to pop up on this rock. And you can quickly take care of anyone camping it. When you're up here, you can also get on this sign over here. But obviously, you're very exposed. But you can still see the top of dome over there and some of mid and P4. Something else that not a lot of people know is that when you're in this water over here, you can actually lie down on this side thingy over here. And you can watch the cross like this and watch the spawn behind as well. And this is a pretty good place to be because many people are not expecting you to be standing on the water like this. Moving to P2 over here. If you're trying to go towards mid or if you're defending this hard point and there's people on the dome over there. If you stand over here, you can actually see the top of dome. So you can see their head popping up over there and you can actually beam them off with an AR. And this is a great spot to use because they're not expecting your head to pop up. Because if they're standing up here, they're probably looking there and there and towards mid. But they're not looking right over there, which is where your head is going to slightly pop up and you can beam them. When you're on top of dome, you can actually get on top of this sign over here, like this. And you can watch mid and <laughs> behind you. But again, this is, a, this is not a very good spot to be, but it's still cool to know. Not a lot of people know that you can actually get on top of this hut over here. And this gives you a great line of sight towards this building. And you can actually see into P5 over there as well. And obviously you can see towards mid. And to have a better head glitch towards mid, you can actually jump on top of this rock like this. And you have to keep moving forwards, but you can also crouch. And you have a good head glitch because you're hidden by these bushes and the rock. So any people coming from mid, you can shoot. But obviously if you turn around, you're going to fall down. Most people know this, but you can get on the sides of the bridge like this. And you have a very nice head glitch towards the veranda over there and the window and mid. And you can also do it on the other side if you're spawning on this side and you can hold dome. These, these two are actually two of the most overpowered spots on this map. You can parkour onto all of these fences that are on each side of the map. You can land on top of it, but you have to be in the inner side of it. So on this left side, because you have to be closer to inside the map than outside the map. And you can actually step on it like this as well. And you can walk. But remember, you have to stay on the left side or this happens. Now for some wall bangs. This fake window over here, you can wall bang this. So if you know that someone's going to be camping behind that, you can actually just wall bang this. And if we come inside, you can see there's a bunch of bullet holes over here. So yeah, you can actually wall bang this. So if you know that someone's going to be camping behind here, or if you see someone rushing in from the veranda like this, then you can put some shots in them from over here or on top of dome is probably the best place to do it. Or if you're on the side of the bridge, you can just keep putting shots in them and you can see that they pass through over here. There's another wall bang over here. So if the hard points in a warehouse, so P3 over here, and you know that someone's camping in this place or somewhere or, or they're lying down somewhere over here, you can actually wall bang these two windows. So let me just shoot a bit to show you. So you can see the bullet holes that come through those windows over there. So if someone's camping over here lying down, you can actually shoot them through that. And if you go all the way to the side and you aim right, you can actually even hit people that are going to be over there. But you have to be kind of smart with it and you have to know the wall bang. Obviously, I have to aim for that. So it's pretty hard, but some of the bullets are going to get through. So if someone were to be lying over there, you would get some hit markers on them for sure. 
And obviously you can do the opposite. You can shoot through here if you can hear people outside. Most people know this, but I'm going to show it anyway. From these crates over here, you can jump inside the window. And you can do it from these over here as well, but you have to strafe jump to reach it. And when you're on top of this window ledge, you can actually jump and land on the edge of this wall, right where that rope is. And when you stand on top of here, you can shoot towards P5, you can see the water, but if you move, you're going to drop down. When you're on the balcony over here, you can actually jump on this ledge. So you jump on like this, and you can also move this way. And you can actually just hold this area over here. So if you're in this hard point and people are rushing, you can hold that over there. But if you move, you're going to fall. So you have to be careful with that. Moving to this side of the spawn over here, you can get on top of this little gas station over here. So if you're holding that hard point or this hard point over here, and you know that people are going to be flanking around, you can actually lie down on top of here and wait for them. And you can actually shoot onto the top of that hard point over there, which people are camping most of the time. You can also get on top of this sign over here. And if you lie down, people are not going to be able to easily see you as they come around like this because you're hidden by the rocks and you're hidden by the bushes. People know that you can climb on top of this balcony from these boxes over here, but you can actually mantle onto this iron thing over here as well and get up like this. When you're on top of the balcony over here, you can actually jump on top of this lamppost over there like this. And this is actually a very overpowered spot because you can see top dome over there. You can see top broken over there. You can see the whole of the spawn. So if people are rushing through this way, you can see it. And you can see the mid over here. If someone's camping in here, when you have the hard point in, in P5 over here, and they're camping in the corner, you can actually shoot through this window. So if we know that they're going to be camping somewhere inside that corner, and you aim it right, then you can see that the shots go through, and you're going to kill them if they're sitting over here. If you're in P5 in this hard point over here, and you stand on top of this railing, you can actually see all the way through to P3. So if people are going to be rushing through that way, or if you switch to P1 and people are going to be running through warehouse going to P1 over there, you can actually shoot them like this while they're rushing through. And they are not going to expect that. Also, if people are camping on the inside of those two windows that I showed you before, you can actually wallbang them like this and you can kill them. If you stand on this railing over here, you can actually also watch the spawn. So if people are going to be rushing through that corner coming to the hardpoint, you can pre-fire them and kill them. Also, if you come all the way to the left of this railing and you peek through, you can actually see to mid. And if you move a bit, you can see the side of the bridge like that. So if someone's camping over there, you can beam them off. When you're rushing this hardpoint, instead of just stunning or nading from the front like this, you can actually throw them through the windows and reach further back this way. There is another very, very overpowered spot that has been exposed recently, which is you can actually get on top of this wall. You have to do it pretty quickly for it to work. You have to run on the side of this wall in these sandbags, then jump on this rock and keep jumping. And as you're on top of here, just jump on top of this wall. So I'll show you right now. So you run on these sandbags, jump on top of the rock, and then you can get on top of this wall like this. And you can actually jump in the water as well. You can hold P3 over there. You can get any people that are going to be head glitching that bridge, which is really effective. And you can just jump in. You see, there's a lot of more stuff you can do, but most of them are pretty well known. For example, jumping up on top of broken like this, or getting up on top of that rock, or the rocks over there behind. But most people know about these, so I just wanted to cover the more obscure jump spots and lines of sight that not a lot of people talk about. Since we're almost done with the jump spots, let me know if there's something else that you want to see. Tutorials that have to do with ranked, with the normal game, with Warzone, it can be anything. Or even some other games that you want to see me play. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Peace!